Well, one of the great games of the year is always the Carson-Douglas game. It doesn't matter whether it's down at Douglas or in Carson City. The rivalry lives on. It is always a game that you never know the outcome, and this was the same thing tonight. Boy, the first half, we weren't sure. It looked like it was Douglas. Then the second half, Carson came back. Well, let's take a look at our highlights. We go back early. This is the first big scoring play. The throw downfield, caught by Mistretti. We were then a little bit late, but the defender fell down, and Nick Mistretti caught the ball along the sideline. He ends up going 69 yards for the first score of the evening. And then on the ground, up the middle, that'll be Joey Thurman getting in the end zone, going right up the gut. He's replacing Dylan Sawyers, who did not play tonight. He was not in uniform, had an injured leg, and Thurman had to pick up the slack. Nolting grabbed in the backfield. Chance Quilling, who is always a stalwart, offense or defense. He comes in and gets a big sack on the Douglas quarterback. On the other side of it, the Carson quarterback is sacked as he tries to scramble. Matt Nolan trying to find his way around and too much defense. You had him, Seth, along with Hayes on him. Douglas back with the ball offensively. Their quarterback can run. We've seen that. He gets to the outside, turns a corner, and Mike Nolting will go 49 yards. Didn't look like he had much, but when he got to the outside, there was nobody gaining ground, nobody catching him. 49 yards later, he's in the end zone. And then Cotter Peterson didn't have a big night on the ground, just 57 yards, but he got a touchdown when they needed. And at this point of the game, it looked like Douglas was going to have enough firepower to hold off Carson. But the Senators never dying. As they come back, the long throw downfield. Pacheco, who does so much for this team. Austin grabs the ball out of midair on a jump ball. And near the half, it looked like Carson, who was trailing by 14, was going to get a drive and go in. It falls short. And at halftime, they trail by as many as 14. Then in the second half, Carson defense was strong, but Douglas hurt themselves. Twice was inside the 10-yard line. You see here, they fumble the ball as they're about to go in. An increased lead to 28, not to be. Carson gets the ball, and they want to go the other way. Huge play for them. Austin Pacheco starts running upfield. Looks like he has a pretty good gain of 25 yards. Then all of a sudden, the ball's in the air. There's Joey Thurman to grab it in midair. He will spin out of a tackle, and then it's a convoy. Thurman leading everybody downfield. He will score after going 70 yards on the fumble by Pacheco. Douglas, not done yet. Here they come. Well, Quilling will shut him off as he'll go up in the air, grab it for the interception. His third in two weeks. He had two a week ago. Gets this one. He gets him inside the five-yard line on the run down the sidelines. It is the quarterback, Nolan, who has to knock him out of bounds. And then the field level. We see the shuttle pass to normally the linebacker, the middle linebacker, Logan Peternell, but he's playing fullback. He gets the shuttle pass, and he knows how to celebrate. He doesn't get in the end zone often, but when he gets there, he enjoys it. Carson with the ball, Quilling trying to come around the right side. One of his few mistakes tonight. He will fumble it. And right there, Douglas to pounce on it. They come up with it, so they slow Carson down. A game of momentum. It kept shifting all night long. And then Austin Pacheco. Not only can he kick and run, guess what? He can pass. Brock Pader behind everybody will grab it, and nobody will gain ground on him. He will go in for the score. On the pass from Pacheco for the touchdown. Douglas wants to come back. They throw over the middle to their tight end, Worth. It's in and out of his hands, and then DeFriends will wrestle it from Logan Peternell. Peternell saying, no, you don't want it. And, and DeFriends saying, yeah, I do. I want the ball. We're going to go back on offense. On the ground, same guy, DeFriends, next play, very next play. He gets hit, coughs it up, and Douglas has got another takeaway. They're back on the football. They want to go airborne, nothing there. So the quarterback, again, going around the corner. Nolting will go in the end zone. He dives, and he has showed all night long that he has speed to beat the defense. And then the two-point conversion. Peterson didn't have a big night, but he made a big play right near the end of the ball game. Douglas goes on top. They convert. They were down 28-27. They go on top 29-28. And then... The cliffhanger right at the end. He did it last week, trying to do it again. Austin Pacheco, the ball spotted in the air on the way from 42 yards into the night. And guess what? That's it. The officials show you. It is good down the middle, and the Senators have reason to celebrate. 
as Austin Pacheco kicks the 42-yard field goal and Carson at homecoming goes away very happy. Those are our highlights of our GSP Game of the Week.